Too sweet. <laughs> All right. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, busy, busy. Yeah. For everyone yeah. who doesn't know, uh, <laughs> he has been on the podcast before. Uh, G and I went to pastry school together in Philadelphia. And he uh, moved back to Thailand. He was on um, Iron Chef as a pastry chef. And um, now he's opening, or he opened his own pastry shop. Delicious house. Delicious, yes. (laughs) The logo right there. (laughs) Right here. Yeah. (laughs) Just a t-shirt, yeah. But it's cool. It's your own, uh, your own spot. Yeah. Congratulations. So, uh, what? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So, what? Uh, what are we going to be talking about? <laughs> uh, about you. <laughs> I see. Yeah. yeah, you've been uh, you've been busy. We got to talk about everything you've been up to. All right. You need an update. Mm-hmm. So. So what are you doing? Uh, what am I doing? I am flying for Norse uh, Atlantic Airways. Hopefully, we'll okay. come back to Thailand. That would be cool. Hey. That's uh, you need just a water, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got tea. All right. But, okay, uh, should we start? <laughs> what? Should we start? We already started. Already started? Okay. <laughs> Asking, I'm already uh, recording uh, you, G. <laughs> Don't say anything embarrassing. <laughs> we are not all live, right? We're not live. No, right? no. I'm, I'm okay. going to keep that in, though, because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you just got you just got married, too, right before you opened your shop, right? Like yeah, a, like a, a, year, a year ago. A year ago? Yeah. Like a busy, uh, last- Last October. Yeah. Mm. And then, so tell me more about the shop. I just told my friend, uh, Nam, she, uh, she's a flight attendant I work with, but she's originally from Thailand and she's visiting. Okay. So she might stop by and see you and say, Grace sent me. <laughs> What's her name? Nam? Her name's Nam. She goes by Nam. Her, uh, I'm not, never mind. I'm not going to say what her real name is because I don't know if. She wants people to know it. <laughs> All right. So, um, and so what? I see you're making croissants. I see you're yeah. making fancy stuff. How's how's it been? Uh it's been very good. I mean, uh, the the shop. I mean, uh, the pastry shop. Uh, we've been open like uh, this month is uh, is the fourth month. So we've been open like four months. Just only four months. Only four months. So are you in the middle of uh, Christmas orders now? Yes. Yes, correct. So we're going to have like 900 pieces of, uh, I mean, Christmas items. I mean, next month. What are you making? Um, Hold on. Just a cinnamon bun, cinnamon roll, but uh, I just need to uh, be decorated like Christmas theme, you know. (laughs) So that, that's it? Just Christmas buns? Just cinnamon buns? Yeah, it's, come on, it's 900 pieces. I mean, <laughs> cannot do it. Anything else on it? <laughs> it's, uh, that's a lot. I, mean, I know, but I've been seeing all your pictures on Instagram, and I'm like, I want that chocolate thing that says delicious on it. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a signature, I mean, signature cake uh, for my shop. That's your signature cake? Yeah, it's called uh, I'm a brand ambassador of uh, like some kind of chocolate brand in Thailand. Oh, that's the tulip? That's a tulip, yes. Yeah. See, yeah. I'm stalking you. You don't even know. Right. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that chocolate brand. Um what is that like cocoa berry of thailand or uh kind kind of but uh they like the their business started like 30 40 years ago uh with the cocoa powder 
Okay. With co- uh, with cocoa powder and uh and then uh if you gotta talk to them, you can talk to them. I, I can cut uh, it out. Uh, okay. What yeah. about that? <laughs> it's just my friend just calling. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the, 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 the business started like 30, 40 years ago uh, with a cocoa powder. But uh, lately, they start making their own chocolate. Uh, they have like cool version and like compound chocolate as well. Are they from, they're from Thailand? They are from Thailand, but um, I mean, uh, their sources like uh, from Europe, you know, like from France, from France, France, yeah. Oh, so they're, they're not originally, they're not Thai. Um, they're European. I, I, I believe so, but, uh, but like, but they're a Thai brand, like, but uh it depends on uh, what kind of product they they have, like if like chocolate and you know some kind of th- that that kind of thing. Like I think that sauce is from uh, from Europe, yeah. Okay. From France, yeah. So there is. So, uh, yeah, they, they they can like their product can compare with uh, the uh, the 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 popular band that you 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 kind of know. Like you can mention like Coco Berli, but uh, I I. I, I don't know what 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 brand that they, they they could compare with you know but the quality the quality is like it's the same as a uh, European chocolate you know that's good are you doing yeah. any um can you do any other brand deals um the other brand is uh it's a whipping cream oh yeah mm, yeah yeah, it's called uh that brand's name uh Debic. D E B I C. I saw that. I was like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a whipping cream from uh Belgian. I thought you were selling yogurt, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> the whipping cream. Oh, no. <laughs> the pack the packaging is kind of cool, you know. You, you saw you saw right? You yeah. saw it, yeah. Uh yeah, again, I mean uh they have a history, like uh, more than a hundred years ago. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, what's your favorite? Uh, you said you made your chocolate cake. What's what else is on the menu over there? I gotta tell all my friends. Oh, I mean, um, there's a lot of menu. I mean, uh, I, I'm doing croissants, like the baked items. Mostly, I'm doing croissants because uh, it's kind of popular in Thailand. And uh, you can just make plain croissant and you can, you know, you can make any flavors with plain croissant, you know, you can put color, you know, you can make fancy croissant, put the feeling, some feeling inside, you know, and uh, uh, talking about preparation wise, you just, you know, you just, you just make only croissant, you know, you don't have to make, uh, you, you don't need any many recipe, you know, at the beginning, at the beginning. But of course, I'm 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 going to 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 do uh, many more than this, you know. Yeah. What is uh? You have a red one and a green one. The red one is uh is the uh, strawberry and jam, and oh. the green one is apple pie. Uh, actually, um, I'm doing like classic for song, like you know, like just normal like plain, like um, almond, I yeah, pan them. pan. Yeah, pan of chocolate, ham and cheese. But uh, I'm having uh, my signature croissant, which I call uh, twice baked croissant, like double baked croissant. Have you heard about that before? Is that there's a place by me that basically um, they take like an older croissant and then they dip it in like simple syrup and then they bake it again. Yeah, that's that's the idea. That's the idea. That's the idea. Yeah, but uh, I'm I'm not. Thinking, uh, I mean, leftover croissant. So yeah. I I use yeah I use a fresh baked croissant and then I bake it again. But yeah, that the, the idea is uh, of a twice baked croissant. They use a leftover croissant. Yeah, and then they dip in a uh, syrup, right? And then uh, some of them they put like uh, almond cream. Yeah, almond cream like they cut. I mean, in a lengthwise, 
like they cut in half, it's like sandwich, and then they they bake it again. When you do that, are you? Because I've never done it before. Do you just soak it? Do you soak it in simple syrup, or is it just kind of like a dip, and then you put it in? Uh, yeah, you dip, you soak, you you dip in the syrup. But uh, you can, you know, you can make any syrup you would love to. Like, uh, for example, like in my shop, we are we having uh, Earl Grey croissants, right? And then uh, I'm making this uh, Earl Grey syrup, you know. So I I, I was I would dip my croissant in the Earl Grey syrup in order to make a flavor. And then I will make uh, this uh, Earl Grey almond cream, you know. And then uh, pipe it in between sandwiches and then bake it again in order to cook uh, that uh, almond cream. And of course, uh, the, the, I mean, uh, the skin, I mean, uh, it's really crispier, you know, than you really should. Good. And they're shinier. The shiny, you have to grease it. Yeah, I mean, so outside, you're, you, you're talking about shiny, right? Shiny, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the shiny part, you have to grease it with, uh, with grease. Like, that's another recipe. I mean, for gracing the song, it's like a miller grease, you know. Once you finish bake it, right, and then you you brush with this grease. Oh, grease! I was like, "Gee, I'm right here. What are you talking about?" <laughs> <Right. laughs> Brushing them with yeah. grease. So I was like, "I'm grease." Oh, <laughs> uh, grease! Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. That just looks good for pictures, then, huh? It's not really tasty, huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, what else? Um, yeah, I have like a lot of menu, like cakes menu. Like um, beside that chocolate cake, I'm like, I have like tiramisu, but uh, my tiramisu is like, it's not only like traditional tiramisu. It's like I put like caramel, you know, on top of tiramisu. You know, it's like caramel tiramisu. Uh, what else? Do you still make the, the? I'm gonna ask that rice pudding. Hmm? Remember that that rice pudding? I'll never forget this rice pudding you made. I feel like I talk right. to you about it every time I talk to you. There's the rice uh, pudding you made with uh, coconut milk, and you made a kiwi syrup and a strawberry, uh, like a strawberry not syrup, okay. really compote type thing, and. Rice- it was rice pudding. You mean uh, back in the, when I was in the US? No, like, no, it was tapioca pudding. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I, I'm not making that yet. I mean, no puddings. No pudding. No pudding yet. No, because you inspired me. I'm gonna. I haven't tried it yet. Mm-hmm. But with the coconut milk, I found this rice mm-hmm. that it's kind of. I guess it's like a fad now. Mm-hmm. And it's like a, it's a, like a black rice. It naturally okay. grows like that, but it kind of has like a chocolatey hint to mm-hmm. it. So I think it would mm-hmm. make an excellent chocolate rice pudding. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to use the coconut milk like you did in that tapioca pudding. Talk, talking about coconut milk, I'm, I have like uh, coconut cake, you know, like young coconut cake which is, uh, is popular in Thailand, I mean. So the, the, the coconut in Thailand, that they have a lot, you know, so it's popular, so. Are you on a phone? No, no, no. You're on a computer? No, this is a, uh, it's a phone, sorry. Yeah, can you show us? Can you take the phone? Can we give it a little, see a little bit of the, the pastries? You mean uh, the cake display? Yeah. So making a tour. Yeah. Alrighty. Since you asked for it. Oh, so yeah. Is- oh. All right. This uh, cake is paid. Oh, wow. But this... Uh, oh, that raspberry yeah. one looks familiar, huh? So right there, talking about... 
Oh, they're so pretty, G. And this is a croissant on this pay. So is this a twice baked? The, the, these are twice baked, like a gray, green tea, uh, strawberry jam, and apple pie. So that shine comes from uh, Greece? Yes, correct. Okay. That's so cool. It's a uh, kitchen. It's an open oh, kitchen. That's, it's all glass. Wow, you can see. So everyone can, can see, see the everything. The uh, dining room is amazing. Yeah, that's a. Uh, the other side is a cafe. It's a coffee shop. Mm. So uh, same place. There's a schedule. Ice cream. Machine. Oh man, what kind of ice cream are you making? Um, it's depend on. It depend on like. Uh, at the beginning, I'm doing like chocolate, green tea, but I'm doing like a Sunday parfait. A Sunday Talking parfait? Is that like a yeah. like a it's Sunday like, a like an ice cream, or you only do it on Sundays? Uh, no, it's Sunday like ice cream, but it's a parfait ice cream. This uh, the menu. Cool. I'm doing a uh, French toast too. Nice. And talking about uh, ice cream, like next year, end of January, I might go into e Italy. Oh yeah? Yeah. Uh, are they having a, some kind of food show in over there? Are you gonna go with tulip or the other one, the whipped cream? No, or? the other, uh, the ice cream machine that I bought, the company that uh, they they asked me for, and it's for free. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and you're gonna get all the gelato too. Uh, they it's like a food show, like food competition, like world competition or something. Um, Are you gonna compete? So are you just no, no, no. I'm no, I'm just exhibitor. Okay. Do you oh. do they also make gelato machines or just um ice yeah, cream? I, I, I think everything like this uh, gelato chocolate is a big like big uh exhibition, like like well exhibition or something. Nice. Uh, <laughs> what part of Italy? Uh, I don't quite remember the, the 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 name of the city, but it's near Rome. Okay. Yeah. Have you been there? Yeah. Uh, to Rome, yeah. I honestly, yeah. you know, as a, as a food person, I think my favorite city is Florence. If you get to go to Florence while you're there, just you know. Go because it's the food there is incredible. <laughs> maybe we can meet. What? Maybe we, maybe we can meet over there. Maybe. We have a We're not flying to Italy yet. We're just flying to um, Oslo and um, Berlin. Okay. Okay. So probably not, <laughs> unfortunately. But you never know. You never know. Yeah. So I, you know, I'm gonna keep writing, writing emails saying, "Hey, can we go back to Thailand? <laughs> can we go to Thailand? Because that was awesome." In uh, Florida, right? Yeah, I'm in Florida, so there's plenty of food exhibitions here. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I guess. You went back hey. to Philly? Um, not recently. No. I would like to go back. I'll come visit you if you go to Philly. <laughs> Have you been? But, you're, but, no, but no. your family is still there, right? No, no, they never, they're, they were in New Jersey. Oh, they were in, in New Jersey, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. They're pretty close, but they're not that close. <laughs> it's like a two hour drive. Okay, okay. But it's not. But it, a, 
not the same state. That's uh like a weeks ago. That's a uh, that's a Thai girl. I think she's studying in our school. Uh, she messaged me like via Instagram. So uh, she said that uh, Chef Stegger. Oh yeah. Chef, he, I mean, uh, she told uh, she told her about me. So she gave uh, her my Instagram account. So. That's how uh, she sent the message to me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like she, you could, uh, you know, you could definitely advertise for the school. <laughs> they should pay you. <laughs> but uh, she's like this uh, Thai, Thai girl. She's like, uh, I'm really tired. to I quit? <laughs> the class is like kind of early in the morning. <laughs> But I'm like, yeah, that that's just the beginning, you know. But if you, you know, if you think that this, this is the thing that you will, you do for the rest of your life, so you should know that this is just the beginning, you know. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think that it's not. You just don't get paid enough, you know. It's not a. Um, Unless you get like an executive, there's not that many executive positions for a pastry chef, you know? And Default. Yeah. And if you're not the top guy, you're not in America, at least you're not even making a living wage. So mm-hmm. it's like, unless you're in, you know, in like the sous, sous chef position, if there, if there even is a sous chef position for a pastry chef or you, um, you're the the owner or the executive chef, you're not gonna make any money. So unless you already have money and you just want to learn how to do this because you have enough money to open your own place, then go do it. But it's just uh you know it's obviously something I'm passionate about, but it's just not um you know life is too short to work 16 hour days all day every day without even being able to afford rent you know but uh i think every chef they i mean they went to that road before you know you have to start at the bottom you know and then to gain your experience you know i mean i think that's that they sell you on that you know they sell you that but i don't think that's true anymore you know, I've yeah. I've worked with so many talented people over the years that still are really grinding, you know, they're really grinding. And it's not that and I'll see them on Facebook and stuff, and you know, they have a lot of medical issues and stuff, and it's clear that it's all fatigue, you know. They're just fucking mm-hmm. tired. But they and they love what they do, but they're never, you know, they're never gonna make enough money doing what they're doing to like it's it's sad because it's not even saying like to open your own restaurant it's like you're not even going to make enough money to like have a family and buy a house like it's just the american dream is not what it used to be (laughs) it feels like (laughs) so okay how about working in the hotel sorry like how about like working in the hotel is that are they gonna make enough money? I mean, in um, the... I mean, in a pastry department, but it's it's kind of like if you're not, if you're still an hourly worker, you know, if you're not making, um, like right now, just in general in America, like with the inflation and the, you know, everything kind of being a mess since the pandemic and everything. Like, if you're not making over twenty dollars an hour you're you're fucked you know like Mm -hmm. so it's just uh and you know in the service industry in general it was not um you know it wasn't well paid to begin with like before everything got even worse so then for it to get even worse and then the wages not keep up with the costs it's like it's a fucking mess over here (laughs) like 
Yeah. Same in Thailand or no? Um, in Thailand, yeah, I agree with you about like if you're not uh, making up to be like sous chef or executive, you know, um, it's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult, like to make enough money, you know. Even even though you're working in the hotel, but uh, if you're working in a big city, even though you make, uh, I mean, good money, but the living cost is kind of like. You know, it it is kind of expensive. So, doesn't matter like how much you make, you you, know, you have to pay. I mean, all of you are slowly might go to be, you know, for your expenses. You know, yeah. So saving the money. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I don't know those Scandinavians. They seem like they got it figured out. <laughs> They, uh, they, they all get paid good money because it's all, um, I don't know how it works, but it's basically some kind of like social net system where as long as you have a job, like you have a right to like housing and all that other stuff. So they're doing something right over there. You could be a waiter and have a house. How about yourself? You Are you happy with what you're doing? Yeah. Um, I mean, I would be happier if I could, uh, you know, make the YouTube thing work, but <laughs> I'm, work I'm still working on it. I'm happy while I'm working on that. But, uh, you know, it's definitely uh, I'm starting back with uh, Norse now flying and it's a lot of fun, but it's also uh, there's a lot of growing pains because they're it's like a new company, even though it's all it's like all my old colleagues and stuff, but it's a new company. So um, it just seems like people don't know that they're an airline. So they're not selling as many tickets as they thought they would be. So they had to cut back a lot of the flying. So this month I only have like two hours. I have a flight that leaves on the end of the, at the end of the month. And then, mm -hmm. so that's like no money. You know, because you get paid when you fly. So that's, uh, that's a little rough. But at the same time, it's nice to be home because then I can work on this stuff and learn more about video editing and all that fun stuff and get ready for Thanksgiving because, you know, we do that. <laughs> but start recording about like where, where, wherever you're traveling, you know. Yeah, I've been doing that a little bit. I've been doing some shorts about that. Um, I've done it, but I've only really been going to Norway. So they're just all about Norway. <laughs> and you're going to need your own content. You know, you have, you need your own content. Like if you're doing the YouTube things. Yeah, I've been doing, um, I've been doing a short a day for about two months now. Like I'm on a, I'm on a streak. I haven't missed a day. So I'm just trying to do, it seems like the algorithm with the shorts um, and the algorithm with like these longer format videos are going to be a little different. So um, the, the shorts, I have all my old cooking videos that I've been doing. So I'm just going to recut them into short videos. Um, and then Hopefully more people will get to see them and then they'll subscribe and then they'll learn more about the podcast where I talk to people like you. Okay. So you do you're doing everything by your own? You have a team or no nah, I'm all by myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I'm yeah. That's why I talk because I don't know anything about anything. I'm all learning as I go. <laughs> but I learned a lot. I came pretty far. I don't have much uh, advice for you. <laughs> but you do like the YouTube channel with uh, uh, one of my chef's friends like a year, two years ago. Yeah. But uh, always you need money. You need to put some money on your production. Production, you know. Yeah. You need your team, cameraman. You need uh, 
you know, the real editors. I mean, you need investment first. I'm working on it. If you, yeah, if you don't have like the content that you can catch uh, people like attention, like you know. I mean, uh, with, you uh, I was that star power, G. <laughs> I was doing that for fun. I mean, <laughs> it is fun. Yeah, but just for fun, but not for money. <laughs> Zero money return. Zero money. One hundred percent fun. One hundred percent wasting time. <laughs> no. I'm sure you you met some cool people in Thailand, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was just joking. <laughs> So far, the best part is like you 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 got you got a chance to travel, you know, meet some people, um, you know, take a break. Are you gonna you know, film any of your Italy adventure? Sorry. Are you gonna film any of your Italy adventure? Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, actually, I kind of think about that though. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's a free trip. You might as well get a, get a cameraman, right? <laughs> no, I mean, my wife can be a camera woman. <laughs> yeah, actually, I I have to be uh, her cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's prettier than you, so <laughs> it's okay. <I> agree. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year. Yeah. Are there any uh, Thai like traditional pastries that are for the holidays in Thailand? No, not for not for Thanksgiving, not for Christmas, not even for New Year. I mean, like. Talking about celebration in Thailand, we um, I mean, the food is not that not that. I mean, it's not that relative. I mean, it's not relevant. You know, I mean, like, but we don't have a festive menu. <laughs> There's no nothing even like the king's birthday or something. No, no, no. Really? I mean, on. Yeah, yeah, on the menu, it's like, it's like all year menu. So it, you know, we don't have, we have a festive, but like I, I said, it's, it's not about food, you know, we celebrate, it, it's just activity. Mm -hmm. but, but what but, other uh, activity is there besides eating, G? I mean, like, if talking about eating, you have to talk about like uh, street food. You know, it's like a it's like a fair that they have a street food. You know, uh, which is you can see that those street food every day, every day. You know, but they just uh, you know they just I mean. They just combine all, you know, in only one place, and then you know, it's like a fan. And you just, you just go there. Really, that sounds like not like every yeah. culture in the world has like some kind of holiday. No, I'm not saying like Christmas or something. I'm just like saying like any. A specific holiday to the Thai culture, or like even like an Independence Day, or something. They got a food that goes with it. No, we don't celebrate with the food. <laughs> <laughs> we just go out. Just go out and uh, eat some sleep. <laughs> go to the floor. It's a holiday. Our holiday is uh, taking a break. <laughs> of course, uh, they, the family. You know, they, they. I mean, they're going back for. To, to see their family 
for some people. But uh, most of the people, the holiday is just uh, taking a break from work, you know. Uh, yeah, of course, stay with the family. Maybe they're going to the mall. Mm-hmm. Your face kind of like, oh, they are boring. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. I feel like you you have an opportunity there to uh, bring some some holiday cheer. Like, they'll be like, a Yule log? What is this? You know? No, I mean, of course, they, they're cooking at home for, for some family, but I mean, the food is, that's not basically for that, you know, for the, for the, uh, for those festive, you know, so. I mean, you're not going to make the, uh, are you going to make the cinnamon buns look like Yule logs? With the, the what? Remember we used to make a, it was like a cake. That was like, it looks like a tree trunk. Ah, I see. It's like a like a Christmas tree, you mean? No, no, no. It looks like a fallen over log. Mm-hmm. It's like a Swiss roll. Like it's a, like the flexible cake and you roll mm-hmm. it and then it's got mm-hmm. like a cream spiral. Mm-hmm. And um, then you, you put icing on the outside to make it look like a, a piece of wood. Like a piece of like a branch falling down. Like uh, you're talking about log cake or bush yeah. the Noel. Yeah, bush the oh, I got Noel over there. I should know that the <laughs> French name, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, in my shop for Christmas, we uh, we might have made, we we're going to make it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then people will be like, "What is that?" <laughs> No, but they know. I mean, uh, they know what Christmas is. Is but uh, if you're talking about Thai, you know, face tea, like talking about food. But I mean, we don't have that that like Christmas. Like if if you're thinking about Christmas, uh, of course you think about you thinking about like you know like uh, pudding, like Christmas pudding, like uh, lock cake that you just mentioned. What else? Mince pie, right? Thing. Yeah. All the English stuff, huh? The great British, yeah. the great British bake off over there. <laughs> what else? Like cookie, like gingerbread house, and like that, you know. I love the I love gingerbread, like building mm. stuff. It's fun. I'm going to make a gingerbread house in my shop too. Are you gonna make it look like your shop, or are you gonna make it look like a house? Just a house. <laughs> I don't have that much time yet. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's different from the uh, from the hotel. You know, when I was in the hotel, I, I'm I'm having like like thirty employees, you know, underneath me, so we can do much more things. But open my own, like we having only like four or five people. So the production is kind of like limited, limit, limited. Mm-hmm. Did you, uh, did you steal them all from your hotel? No. 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 <laughs> no. No. And <laughs> <laughs> getting no. you in trouble, huh? <laughs> but, um, um, only, only one of my uh, sous chef, which uh, he is a co-owner i mean business partner as well so he's my uh he was my right hand man when i was in the hotel so you may have seen him he he was in the back no so, not really i saw someone was back there but you couldn't see who it was yeah, okay. yeah i mean what else Oh, I'm uh, I'm doing a wholesale pastry too. So you're gonna sell it back to the hotel? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I mean, there's there's some hotel that they contacted me, like the hotel that I used to 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 do the business with with them when I were in the hotel. But uh, I kind of know what what uh what is uh what was the budget or the costing. 
was, you know, which I, I couldn't compare or, I mean, I, mean, I couldn't make, meet their cost, cost yet. Yeah. They're, they're cheaper, you know. Yeah. So I'm the wholesale, like retail wholesale. Whenever I'm having the order, so I, I would do it. Are you like, for example, like... 900 pieces. Yeah, 900 cinnamon buns. Mm-hmm. But they're only like 50 grams. Okay. So they're minis? Um, yeah, kind of. Kind of. They're kind of like that big, maybe? Yes, some of that. It depends on the dough. I mean, yeah, I I, 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 I would try to make them a little bit bigger because they, they would like a little bit bigger. But the weight is like 50 grams. You do cream cheese frosting? No. What? Just icings. Uh, That's not a cinnamon the- bun. Cannot do. Lived in Philadelphia. You know, costing. Costing. Oh. Oh. I'm not committed. I feel like the fair cream cheese for stinky. (laughs) Stinky? Why is it Uh, stinky? No, no. I'm I'm, I'm saying I'm not going to make money with the cream, with the fair fair cream cheese for stink in Thailand. You know, if I if if I use fair fair cream cheese, yeah, you have they to export it. They are expensive in Thailand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You're saying I got to ship you some cream cheese? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're a bit more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's... I wonder how hard it is to make cream cheese. I never tried. Boss thing? No, like actually make cream cheese. I don't think it's that hard. Uh, I remember only once time when I when we were in school. I think we we had like cheese making class or something. Yeah, I don't but know we if made, we made cream cheese or if we made cottage cheese. I think we made uh mozzarella. Oh yeah, but not mozzarella. really. We, I mean, we got the curry and we did that. I used to do that at the bagel store when I was a kid. That, that was one of my jobs. Eventually, I got promoted to mozzarella cheese maker. <laughs> That's funny. What else? When you're going to get married? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, this is, this is your interview, G. This is your interview. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just realized that you can cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you're not going to have uh, many followers. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a, he's very entertaining. So sometimes he's in the videos, you know. He just did my voiceover in one of my shorts. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> when I was talking about school, you miss school? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I miss, uh, I miss Chef, like, I think Chef Gallagher is still there, right? Gallagher? Yeah. They're, I think they're all still there. Gallagher, Honeyman, um, Andres. Honeyman, Andres, okay. Chef Honey, okay. Stick here. Yeah, Chef Mac, talking about Chef Mac. Didn't Remember she, Chef Mac? Mac? Didn't she die or something? Yeah, that's crazy. You know, you know about it. What happened? No, I never found out. Six. I don't know. And then, uh, I think Mr. Mar was still there too. Mm. 
Paneras. What else? Do you have any kids yet? Do you have any kids no. yet? No, no, no. I think uh, it's canceled. <laughs> it's canceled. <laughs> yeah, I mean, me and my, my wife, we were, I mean, we were, we were talking that uh, maybe not. Because uh, we would like to, I mean, raising the kids these days is kind of difficult. And, you know, our our life is, I think that we are not for the kids, you know, yet. <laughs> like, she's, she just got two more dead, you know. And then uh, I'm just opening my own business, you know. Most of our time, I mean, we, 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 you know, we don't have time yet. I mean. But it's okay. We can, we can find uh, another, I mean, more happiness. Yeah. yeah. We can. I was just putting you on the spot because you asked me when I was getting married. <laughs> I mean, uh, we talk about like we save the money and we just go traveling, travel. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Italy's fun, but it's expensive. Yeah. yeah. I just see tongs in the back. <laughs> Anything else? Anything else? I don't know. Also, uh, oh, I'm having a, a interview like in twenty minutes, ten minutes. Oh, okay. Also, uh, uh, I'm gonna hire more people. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought you were. Uh... Promoting the shop. No, no, um, I'm kind of recruiting like more people. Oh, cool. Um, well, so can you tell everybody where your bake shop is located so they can come visit? Yeah, um, of course, it's located in Thailand, uh, in the city near the mall. It's like it's a famous mall. For the foreigner called Icon Siam. Mm -hmm. I was over there when I was walking around, I think. I think. Before yeah. I came to visit you. And it was so big, that mall, that I felt like claustrophobic and I like had to get out of there. I mean, it's kind of like a really luxury mall, like all the brand names in there. You can name it, you know. Uh, yeah, most of the foreigners when they come in Thailand, you know. If they would like to go shopping, so they they would go this to this mall, and um, it's next to the liver. Uh, the the liver. The lever. The lever. Lever. Levi. Yeah. Lever. Yeah. You're next to Levi's. The jeans. No, no, not not Levi's. Sorry, river. Like. like oh, the, next to the yeah. river. Okay, yes. like the water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice so do you have like an area you can sit by the river or are you not that close yeah. I mean um, like I mentioned it's near the river and you can I mean you can see the, the river I mean there's a view like good view and um, it's beautiful I mean beautiful alright well I know my friend Nam's gonna go so She'll tell me all about it. Maybe I can get her to bring me a pastry back. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on. And uh, I hope this person uh, works out. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, hope we see you again in Thailand. Yeah. Or, you know, you can come vi visit me in America. Sure. Either one. Yes. I'll be going in Italy. Italy. <laughs> in Italy. <laughs> or you can fly, fly to Norway. 
fly north, everyone, so I can afford to invest in my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grace. Uh, yeah, good to see you again, and take care. Kapunka. Uh, You're welcome. I've been practicing. <laughs> You do good. You good. Good. You do good. All right. Thanks, guys. See you.